Well, good morning. I am trying to eat my oatmeal as quickly as possible. I've got uh, maple blueberry oatmeal with some cinnamon in it for breakfast. Let me actually put that down so that I can focus on talking to you. So today is moving day. I've only been at this spot for, I think, three days now. And it was a nice spot to find. I really like it. Uh, I like having nobody out my front door here that I can, well, my side door, that uh, I can just open, open my door in the morning and look out and just, it's kind of like it's my own little area. Uh, although there are quite a few people here. So this is a spot, it doesn't have a name, but it's on National Forest Land and it's right off the 40 freeway, uh, just outside of Ash Fork. So there's lots and lots of places to camp like this around here. I just found this one because it just seemed to be the easiest on where I thought I was heading. But today is moving day because, uh, not that I want to leave this great spot, uh, but because it's supposed to get rain and snow and really cold here. And that might prove to be a problem if I decide to stay here through the rain and the snow. So my only issue with staying in this area through some rain and some snow is this road. And this road, as you can see from the tracks, gets pretty sloppy if it gets wet. And I don't think I have the tires of the clearance to get out if it does get wet and sloppy back here. So with that in mind, I think this is probably not a place to just hunker down uh, in bad weather, unfortunately. But no complaints from me. This has been a fantastic place to spend a few days. And like I said, I'd stay a few more. Just uh, I don't want to have to deal with the weather and the road quite so much. So uh, finish my breakfast and then hit the road. It has occurred to me that the spots that I've been camping here in Arizona have been getting better and better. When I first got into Arizona, I was in Quartzsite, and Quartzsite's Quartzsite, you know, it was a fine place to camp, but um, certainly not as good as this spot. And yeah, not that any of the spots that I'd been camping in were bad, but this has just been the nicest of all of them. And the last place I was camped at was the nicest of them. So that's a good trajectory to be on. Uh, so it makes kind of leaving this spot a little bit bittersweet, being that I can park in the city just as easily as I can park out here on public land. Uh, keeping in mind that the weather might get pretty bad, I probably would be in better shape just to be closer to a city. So and with that in mind, I was kind of thinking, which way should I head? Uh, I definitely don't want to go north or east because it would get even colder. I guess they're going to get down into the teens uh, in the areas surrounding this area. And I think here is going to get down to low 20s uh, in the next day or two. Too cold for me. Uh, <laughs> I, I have the heater. I'd be okay. But it's just too cold. If I can be someplace warmer, I'd rather do that. So I don't really want to backtrack and head back west. I could do that. Uh, the weather would be warmer back if I go back west. But I'd rather not do that. So I think I'm just going to head south. Prescott seems like a really good area because as I was looking, there's lots of grocery store and food options for me and my health condition. So uh, it seemed like a good place to go, although it's not going to be much warmer than it is here. Maybe a couple of degrees, but at least I'll be able to stock up on all the food that I need and uh, snacks, too. I've really not been snacking much. So <laughs> I, uh, when I saw that there's grocery stores down in Prescott that have food that I can eat and places that I like to shop at, uh, I decided Prescott's going to be the place to go, even though it's not really going to be that much warmer. At least I can stock up on snacks and food. So Prescott area, at least, is where I'm heading. This is going to be a bit of a slow drive out of here. 
as you can see, this road is not in great shape. Uh, there is another way out. If you go down the old Route 66 and then cut back on a little forest road, it'll, it'll get you out, but it's um, quite a bit farther than just driving straight out this way. So I thought I'd just take my chances here, go slow, and I think I'll be all right. I, I drove out here this way before, so I know it can be done. Well, that wasn't too bad. I was actually a little bit concerned there for a couple of the little bumps, but uh, wasn't too bad. Uh, if I had another couple of inches of ground clearance, I would have been a little bit more comfortable. This wasn't the grocery store I was heading to, but I just noticed a Fry's grocery store, and in my research, I figured out that that is part of the Kroger chain of grocery stores. They usually have really good prices on gas, and it was a little cheaper here than I had noticed on the drive up, so I just stopped, filled up on gas, and I need water, so that was the second reason I stopped here, because I figured they'd have a water machine, and they do. 35 cents a gallon, so I will fill up water now since I see it available. I don't like to put that off. Sometimes I have to go searching for water, and that's just not a fun thing to do, uh, especially now that I don't have my good filter set up anymore. I really gotta need to find a good, clean source of water. It seems like the decision to head into Prescott here is already a good one. Got gas, got water already, and now I'm going to head out to the other grocery store that I was heading to originally. But uh, I just wanted to take a little moment and sit here for a minute. Didn't expect this. Getting serenaded by birds. Nice and cool. It's a nice little spot. I, I could hang out here for a little while if I didn't have other things to do. Well, that didn't exactly go to plan. I was hoping to get snack type things in there, uh, but I didn't find a whole lot. They were pretty cleared out on stuff. They had some chips and things, which is kind of what I was thinking of, thinking of buying some chips and buying some candy type things. But uh, candy was too expensive. Uh, this is a kind of organic grocery store, and so the prices are a little high on some of those things. Didn't do so well on what I went in for, but I did buy some bread, which I think is a good thing to buy now. I normally make tortillas, and those tortillas are kind of what I use for bread. But with the idea that I'm probably going to be running my heater quite a bit over the next few nights, being that it's going to get pretty chilly here, uh, I thought maybe I should just buy some bread instead of running my stove and burning propane to make tortillas. So that'll kind of help conserve propane for me. Uh, and then I bought some oatmeal because I was getting low on that. And some cherries, dried sweetened cherries for my oatmeal. And some tomatoes, canned tomatoes. I've been using these for quite a bit. Lately, I bought a couple of cans of those because they, they were really inexpensive in there. So that's that was good, inexpensive-wise. And then uh, some ground beef because that was on sale, and it's one of my favorite brands of ground beef. So that's all right. And then I saw some of my favorite toothpaste. This is Uncle Harry's toothpaste, and I actually prefer their tooth powder, but I've not seen anything by this brand in... Well, I guess since I left Washington State. So I bought some of that because I really like this stuff. My teeth just feel so clean when I use this. It is expensive again, but a little bit of it goes a long way. It's really concentrated. So I kind of splurged on that. So uh, 
didn't get the stuff I went in for, but I got food, which is better than snacks and sugar stuff. Well, it occurs to me that I should have gone into fries when I was there because I could have got a few things, stocked up on a few things there that probably would have been cheaper. But I'm not going to go back over there. I don't really need a whole lot, but I was thinking if I do find a campsite that I like and can stay for a little while, I should probably just stock up on everything that I can. Anyway, I got a few things that I needed. And now, onwards. Okay, that's kind of funny. I just drove a couple of miles south from Natural Grocers, and there's another Fry's Food and Drug Store. So I'm taking it as a sign that I need to stop and just buy the other things I had in mind. Okay, got the things that I was hoping to get. Some canned beans, they were on sale. Um, I got some guacamole because it was on sale. An onion, that's going to be for dinner. Not the onion, be part of dinner. And I was a little worried about running out of paper towels, so I bought some paper towels. And I didn't do very well on snack items in there. Normally I can't find much to snack on in a Kroger store anyway, but uh, I did buy some potato chips. So a little bit of snacky stuff, although I have an idea about snacks for me later. Uh, but I need to keep going here. Let's see, put this away. I need to keep going. I was actually on my way to the post office. And then I need to get moving and find a camp spot. Okay, that's done. Had to buy some stamps. So I think that's everything I needed to get done. Got water, got food. Didn't really get snacks like I wanted, but uh, we'll work on that later. Mail set. So now I need to get out of here and find a campsite. Oh, although I should just mention, uh, if you are Steve or Katya, uh, you should be seeing your letter arrive about the same time as this video airs, maybe a day or two after, depending on when I get this up. Uh, just multitasking there. Uh, and another bit of multitasking, something I should mention more often, but I put up my videos uh, on a bit of a delay. So it's very rare that I'm in an area when you see the video. Normally I've left an area is when I put up a video. Just for those of you that don't know that, when you see this video, I will not be in Prescott anymore. Uh, but for the meantime, I am in Prescott and I need to find a campsite. So enough of all this other stuff. I get to go find a campsite now. I've had an annoying few minutes. Uh, when I left the post office, Google Maps was telling me to make a left. I was thinking, I need to go right. But then, of course, I just immediately thought, you have no sense of direction. Listen to your navigation. So I did. I went left. And Google took me in the opposite direction that I wanted to go. So I realized it finally and turned back around. And lo and behold, I just drove by a Trader Joe's. So I had to stop. So now I have snacks, lots and lots of snacks. I bought a little more food too. I'm loaded up here on food. So I started out being annoyed. Now I'm all happy. I got to go to Trader Joe's. Who cares if I took a little wrong turn? Well, I think I lucked out and found a camp spot here. And I say lucked out because in this area of the Prescott National Forest, you're not allowed to just disperse camp anywhere you want. You have to disperse camp in a designated disperse camping site. And those camping sites are made and uh, established by the uh, Forest Service. 
So this one does have a little marker out at the road there. So I think I'm good here and there are quite a few people over beside me. So I position the van this way so I won't have to see any neighbors. I'm feeling pretty lucky that I found a camping spot here. I don't really like this setup of only being able to camp in designated spots. And I can understand only camping where other campers have been before, but to have just a few designated spots that the Forest Service sets up, to me, isn't exactly dispersed camping. But I've got my spot, so I'm happy. Um, and I'm I feel a little more comfortable about this road than I did the last place I camped. If I've got to leave this spot for any reason, I can do it without any trouble. Even if, if it gets snowy or something or rainy, uh, I think I'll be fine if I have an emergency and have to leave. It's not something I like to dwell on. It's just something that I like to think about. What if something happens? you got to have a little contingency plan there. So I feel a lot better about this spot. And it sure is beautiful here. Uh, this is the most beautiful spot I have found yet, and I am very happy about that. One little drawback to the spot is it has the worst cell service of any of the spots I've been in. But that usually goes with being in a pretty area. Usually the prettier the area, the worse the cell service. So that doesn't surprise me. Now this has been a little bit of a day with my little rerouting from Google Maps that I wasn't expecting and all. Uh, I've gotten here a little later than I expected. Well, a lot later than I expected. And I haven't had anything to eat all day. Well, I had oatmeal this morning. So I think I need to get dinner started. I'm not calling it lunch. I mean, it's too late for lunch. I guess that just, uh, that just got missed entirely. So I need to get a good hearty dinner started right now. Okay, so I'm going to utilize a little bit of what I bought earlier. Got that onion I'm going to chop up. And still have some garlic. Fresh garlic. And I'm going to make some chili. And it's not going to be a real exciting chili. It's going to be pretty simple. I've been doing this quite a bit lately, uh, making chili. Sometimes I make a vegetarian chili. But today, since I had some beef I bought earlier at the grocery store. I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, that. Only going to use about half of this ground beef. Save the other half for another meal for tomorrow or the next day. Okay, I just got the meat browned off and I took a little bit of the fat, drained a little bit of the fat off. Now I'm just going to add back that onion and garlic I cooked off originally. And this is what I use for my chili base lately. This is uh, a Trader Joe's salsa, a uh, Wajillo salsa. And I like this not necessarily for salsa, but as an ingredient for other things. And I think it makes a really great chili base. Not traditional, I guess, but I think it's really good. It's nice and smoky. Uh, it's not spicy, unfortunately, if you haven't tried this. Uh, Wajillo salsa. It's really not very spicy, but it's got a just an incredible depth of flavor to it. And especially in 
chili like this, I think it makes a really good base for chili or soup or anything. Okay, and then I've got a can of that uh, fire roasted tomato. It's just a can that I bought earlier. Um, the fire roasted, I think, is another great little thing uh, if you can get it. It just adds another bit of flavor. It's just awesome, especially in chili, but in anything you use. And then I just drained off the water off of a can of kidney beans, and I'll go in with that. And then the question now is, do I add some vegetables to the? Yes, I don't really need to ask that, should I? I am gonna add some vegetables to this. Okay, so I've got a bag of just frozen mixed vegetables, and I'm just going to add some of that in. Just make this as healthy as possible. Alright, so there is my easy, quick chili I've been making a lot of. And I actually like adding the vegetables, although I don't always. But I think the vegetables will do me well today. And then I'll just let this sit and kind of blend together. Let that meat cook through. And then it'll be dinner time. All right, dinner time. Got some homemade flour tortillas that I made last night. Which will go good with this, I think. Let's give this a proper taste test. Of course, I tasted it before, but this is a proper taste test. Okay, it passes my test. I'm quite happy with this. That's why I've been making a lot of chili lately. It's just, it's such an easy thing to make. And it's such an easy thing to make taste spectacular. Uh, I've also got, since I stopped at Trader Joe's, I also have a very nice dessert. I really like these things, and uh, these are kind of dangerous for me because at one point I was eating... Oh, at least a bag a week. Well, two bags a week, if I'm honest. But I haven't had any in a couple of months, I think. So, at least uh, a couple of months. So, these are special. Glad I saw that Trader Joe's. I'm actually just flabbergasted. I didn't realize I was going right by it. So, I'm going to eat my dinner. And hopefully, I can walk around a little bit after dinner because... Uh, with all the driving, really feel like I need to walk a little bit, but I'm exhausted. Uh, I just really want to go to bed early, but it's it's only like 5.30. <laughs> I can't go to bed that early. That was an awesome dinner, and the good thing is I've got uh, at least as much as I had for dinner left over for tomorrow. That'll be even tastier tomorrow. And that really turned out well. Uh, the browned onion kind of just permeated through and really made it, I think. I haven't been using a whole lot of onion lately. I don't have a great place to store things, you know, like fruit and things. If I just try to throw them in a bag and hang them somewhere, they seem to get bruised. And the onions seem to uh, sprout really easily. Um, my garlic was sprouted, I noticed. And I just used it anyway. Uh, back when I used to work in the kitchen, chef would not let us use sprouted garlic. But, you know, I mean, what am I going to do? Toss it out? Anyway, I'm all energized, at least a little bit. So I think I'm going to walk around a little bit. Uh, partly because I want to walk, and partly because I have, like, no internet here. Like, just no cell service here. So... <laughs> I'm thinking if I climb up the hill a little bit, maybe I'll find some service. I hope so, because i got to upload videos, and it's kind of hard to do that when there's no cell service. I am so happy to be here. 
This is exactly the kind of thing that I had in mind when I was back in San Diego thinking I wanted to see some trees and thinking I wanted to get out into some forest area. This is exactly the type of thing that I was thinking of and I am just overjoyed to be here right now. Uh, I walked up the hill a little ways and there is a little bit better cell service up there. Not to jinx it, but I think this is the best camp yet. Uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, I think I forgot to mention it, but in this area of the Prescott National Forest, and yeah, I do know how to pronounce Prescott properly, I just don't always do it. I forget and go back to what is basically my name. Uh, so <laughs> I have to try to train my brain to pronounce places properly or people get after me. So. The thing about this area of Prescott National Forest is uh, you have seven days of dispersed camping that's allowed, and that's it. And I've been told that they check pretty thoroughly. For this type of place, I would like to stay that full seven days. I don't know if I'm going to be able to just because of water and things, but um, I'm liking it so far, and I can see staying here at least as long as my water and food and propane last. Uh, this is pretty spectacular. I am feeling the altitude here, so I, uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing any more walking around outside, even though there's just a ton of trails. Basically all around me, uh, there are just a ton of trails. There's a little steep drop off right behind the van here a little ways, but um, it's totally walkable and then you can go up the hill and that's where I went to check the cell service up there uh, the views up there are just phenomenally great just incredible uh, so it just makes you feel like you're way out in the wilderness even though we're really not that far out of Prescott did I say that right yeah I said it right every time every time I go to say Prescott now I think did I say that right and I'm sure I messed it up several times so I think I'm just going to make some coffee and go to bed early. I won't be watching YouTube tonight because I just don't have the cell service for it. Well, last night I just opened up my favorite coffee. So Groundwork Ethiopian. Just really love this stuff. I found it on sale a few weeks back and bought it and just stuck it away. And I am going to enjoy this extra being in such a great place. I'm just so happy to be here and it just makes it all the better to have my favorite coffee. I figured I'd elevate the experience a little bit by using this uh, mug, handmade mug from Poland. I've had this a long time but I, I've i kept it put away for most of the time. And I just thought, you know, I should use it. You know, if I'm not using stuff it doesn't make sense to keep it. Handmade mugs I think are better uh, than anything else, just in my opinion. And a nice big heavy ceramic mug, I think, is the best thing to drink coffee out of. I'm tired. Between the elevation and the driving, uh, I, I think I've had enough for today. So I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, maybe I'll crack into my Trader Joe's dessert and call it an evening. So, uh, hey, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.